Hello, college golf fans, and welcome back to the Haskins Watch, presented by Stiefel Nicholas right here on GolfWeek.com. I'm Asher Wallman, being joined by Golf Week's Ryan Labner. And Ryan, before we get to some of the players to talk about in this year's Haskins Watch list, let's talk about the incentive these players are going to get when they win the award. Not only do they get a nice trophy, they also earn an exemption to the Greenbrier, which takes place July 5th to July 8th. And you know, when you're a college golfer, getting a PGA Tour start, not too shabby of a deal. Right, yeah, it's a, it's a nice little incentive for these players. Sometimes at PGA Tour events, the, the spotlight obviously isn't on some of the younger players, but this is a way to get the sponsor exemption, get the eyes back on college golf. And, you know, for these college players, it's just something more to shoot for. Absolutely going to be looking forward to seeing whoever that player is. Okay, mm -hmm. now let's talk about some players. Ryan, first up, it's kind of hard not to talk about a couple Texas Longhorns. First, I want to talk about the number two ranked player, because we're going to get to the number one ranked player in just a second. But that's Dylan Fratelli. He's the senior in the Texas Longhorns. Now look, his overall head-to-head -head record this year, 420 wins, 31 losses, five ties. But, and I say this with a but, there's it's a, it's one. A, it's a huge but. Yeah. It's a huge but. Zero wins on the year. As great as Dylan Fratelli has been playing, he's got to get over that hump and earn a victory if he wants to have a chance at winning not only the exemption, but the Haskins Award. Right, he's, he's been fantastic this year. He's one of the main reasons why Texas is number yep. one in the country, but there's someone on Texas who's, who's also been a little bit better. That's Jordan Spieth. That is Jordan Spieth, the number one ranked player. Closed out the fall semester with a big win at Isleworth. Then he starts the spring with a big win in Hawaii. Two of probably the most power crazy, power dominant, however you want to phrase it. Without a doubt, two of the top fields in all of college golf, you're going to see Jordan Spieth won both of them. Those are probably two of the biggest wins that any college golfer can have during the season. Right, Jordan Spieth has been phenomenal this year. If you think about it, if you take a couple shots away, he's arguably won all four of all his four, events this right. year. You know, just a couple stray shots down the stretch that he's kicked away. So he's been fantastic. But he's also part of this freshman class, mm -hmm. you know, with, with Spieth, Stanford's Patrick Rogers, and, and Alabama's Justin Thomas, who's kind of moved into the spotlight a little bit. He won the Carpet Capital to start the year. He just won in Puerto Rico. He also won the Jones Cup, a prestigious amateur event during the winter. So he's kind of elevated his game a little bit. He's another one to watch. Justin Thomas, without a doubt, has been a key part to the Alabama success this year. But you know, the thing with Justin Thomas is we talk about Jordan Spieth, and I think because Spieth is kind of that more common household name, Thomas gets overlooked, but don't want to take anything away because I think Justin Thomas is right there next to Jordan Spieth as far as who's accomplished what so far their freshman year. Right, definitely. I mean, he's got, he's got two wins this year, which is one more than, than Spieth. He's got the most wins by a freshman. So you can't really discount that. I think if he can pick up maybe one or two more in the spring, he's going to be, he, yeah, he, he could be the front runner here. And who's another one you got your eye on? I like T.J. Vogel of, of Florida. He's kind of made the, the Gators relevant this year, but he has two wins this season. He hasn't finished worse than 15th, so he's a main reason why um, the Gators still have a chance for the NCAAs. One other player I want people just to kind of keep on their radar, Corbin Mills of Clemson. He obviously had a great summer campaign during the amateur ranks, but you know what? In college, he's not having too shabby of a year either. Mm -hmm. He won the Jerry Pate. He has only finished outside the top 15 once. Uh, the Clemson Tigers trying to get back to the national championship picture if they get into match play. Corbin Mills, big reason for that. He is a player that, you know, it's one of those, I don't know what left, what else this guy needs to do to prove to people he's a good player. It's like every time he wins, it's like, oh, Corbin Mills won an event. Okay, right. great. But what does he have to do to just kind of get over that hump and people say, you know what, that Corbin Mills, he's a pretty good player. He has a, as impressive a resume as anybody in college golf. A guy that I'm personally going to watch is uh, Auburn junior Dominic Bazzelli. Um, he won the Gator, um, he was co-medalist at the U.S. Collegiate, he's had a fantastic year, kind of under the radar. That's a, that's a big reason why um, Auburn is top five in the country. He's kind of been overshadowed, though, by Blaine Barber, the Walker mm -hmm. Cupper, but he's kind of making a name for himself now, so he's, he's one to watch for sure. Well, Ryan, there are a lot of players with a lot at stake. Not only do you get to call yourself the Haskins Award winner, but as we mentioned, you get that exemption into the Greenbrier, which is a pretty big deal if you're a college golfer. For Golf Week's Ryan Lavner, I'm Asher Wildman. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in to the Haskin Watch, presented by Steve Nicholas, right here on GolfWeek.com.